What if everything we thought we knew about the beginning was wrong? Imagine peering back to the universe's first moments, not chaos, but unexpected order. For centuries, this question has haunted us. Are we the product of a predictable process, or is the universe far stranger than we imagine? The cosmos guards its secrets, written in light and gravity, and we're only just learning to read. We build machines, send questions into the void, and point ever sharper telescopes skyward. Each photon we collect is a journey back in time, peeling away layers of the unknown. Yet the more we see, the more we realize how little we understand. The universe loves a good puzzle, challenging our most cherished theories. Space is not empty, it's filled with echoes of creation, the light of long dead stars. In this vast expanse we search for a story that makes sense of it all. We want to know if the rules we see today have always been the rules. This is more than science. It's a deeply human quest for our cosmic heritage. We stand at the edge of a new era, ready to confront the unknown. Our questions are bolder, our tools sharper. We push our gaze to the universe's edge, to the first flickers of light. What we find may not be answers, but deeper, more profound mysteries. To answer these questions, we needed a new kind of eye, the James Webb Space Telescope. The most powerful space observatory ever built, Webb is our time machine designed to capture ancient light from over 13 billion years ago. Its golden segmented mirror collects the faintest whispers of the universe's dawn. Launched a million miles from Earth, Webb sits in cold, stable darkness, shielded from the sun. Unlike Hubble, which saw mostly visible and ultraviolet light, Webb sees in the infrared, revealing what was once hidden. It can pierce cosmic dust, see the birth of stars and planets, and glimpse the earliest galaxies. Webb's mission is audacious to witness the cosmic dawn, watch galaxies evolve and search for signs of life on distant worlds. It's not just a telescope, it's a detective, an archaeologist, a pioneer. Webb is our proxy at the edge of time, carrying humanity's curiosity into the unknown. Every image it sends back is a window into our origins. With Webb, we're not just filling in details, we're rewriting the story of the cosmos. The universe's first light is within reach, and what we find may change everything. What sets Webb apart is its vision. It sees the universe in infrared, a light invisible to us. Infrared can pierce dense clouds of gas and dust, revealing hidden cosmic nurseries where stars and planets are born. Webb lets us witness processes once shrouded from view, showing us the universe's secret workshops. As the universe expands, light from distant objects is stretched redshifted into the infrared. Webb's sensitivity is tuned to capture this ancient stretched light, Looking deep into space, Webb looks deep into the past, seeing galaxies as they were billions of years ago. The further it looks, the further back in time it sees capturing photons nearly as old as the universe itself. To do this, Webb must be kept incredibly cold, so its own heat doesn't drown out the faint signals. It is a silent, frozen observer, waiting to catch the first light from a universe just waking up. With every observation, Webb pulls back the cosmic curtain. We're not just seeing farther, we're seeing differently, and what's revealed is nothing short of astonishing. In its first year, Webb sent back breathtaking images, familiar nebulae, galaxies, and something unexpected. In the background of its deepest images, astronomers noticed tiny, faint red smudges. At first, they seemed insignificant, but a pattern emerged. These little red dots were everywhere. Their extreme redshift meant they were incredibly distant from just a few hundred million years after the Big Bang. Scientists were thrilled, finally seeing the universe's first galaxies. But these weren't the small, chaotic proto-galaxies expected. The little red dots were too bright, too numerous, and surprisingly well-formed. To shine so brightly at such distances, they had to be massive. Billions of stars in mature structures. It was like finding a fully grown tree among seedlings. The standard model of cosmology didn't predict this, it expected slow, gradual growth. The discovery sent shockwaves through astronomy. Every possible error was checked, but the conclusion remained. The little red dots were real, ancient, and far too big for their age. The universe it seemed was in a hurry, building massive galaxies in a fraction of the expected time. The tidy story of cosmic evolution was torn apart. Scientists were left with a puzzle. How did the universe grow up so fast? The little red dots had rewritten the opening chapter of cosmic history, and the search for answers had only just begun. To grasp this puzzle, we must revisit what scientists expected. The Lambda CDM model, our leading cosmological theory, predicts a slow, bottom-up formation of galaxies. 
Tiny clumps of dark matter pull in gas, forming small, messy galaxies that merge over billions of years into giants like the Milky Way. Decades of observation and simulation supported this story. So, when Webb looked back in time, astronomers expected to find faint scattered lights, the universe's first sparks. Instead, they found giants' galaxies as massive as the Milky Way, but when the universe was less than 5%, its current age. These galaxies were packed with stars, some even showing hints of disk-like structure. It was as if the universe skipped its childhood and jumped straight to adolescence. Even more shocking was their abundance, far more than the model predicted. The universe wasn't just building big galaxies early, it was mass-producing them. This single discovery threw our timeline of cosmic evolution into chaos. The rules we thought governed the early universe suddenly seemed incomplete. The little red dots demanded a new explanation, and cosmology was left scrambling for answers. Faced with this mystery, scientists began to question everything. Some suggest the first stars formed far more efficiently, letting galaxies bulk up quickly. Others propose that massive black holes formed first, anchoring galaxies and accelerating their growth. More radical ideas challenge the nature of dark matter maybe it clumps faster or interacts differently than we thought, the boldest theories even question gravity itself, could the laws of physics have worked differently in the early universe? Each idea is a leap, but extraordinary discoveries demand extraordinary explanations. The little red dots are forcing us to rethink the foundations of cosmology. Every theory comes with new questions, new challenges. The universe is pushing us beyond the comfortable confines of established science. And the search for answers is just beginning. Despite a flurry of theories, the mystery of these massive early galaxies remains. Super-efficient star formation struggles to explain how so much gas became stars so quickly. The primordial black hole idea raises questions about how such seeds could form and be so common. There's no direct evidence for these black holes and invoking one mystery to solve another leaves us unsatisfied. Questioning dark matter or gravity is even more dramatic. Our models have worked until now. Scientists are cautious, demanding rigorous proof before rewriting the rules. For now, the little red dots remain an enigma, a beautiful, frustrating wrench in our understanding. They remind us the universe isn't obligated to fit our expectations, each new observation is a clue, but the verdict is still out, the cosmic dawn holds its secrets tightly, and the race to solve this puzzle is on. This discovery has shaken our perspective, injecting thrilling uncertainty into cosmology. For a while it seemed we had the big picture figured out, a beginning, a recipe, a slow evolution. Webb was supposed to fill in details but instead, it handed us a blank canvas. If massive galaxies formed quickly the early universe was far more dynamic than we thought. This challenges everything from star formation to the origins of elements. The universe may be a more efficient builder than we ever imagined. When data breaks a theory, that's when real discovery begins. The puzzle of these early galaxies could spark a revolution in our understanding. We're living in a golden age of astronomy, watching our cosmic history rewritten in real time. The universe is a living, evolving story, and we're just reading its first chapters. The little red dots are only the beginning of many surprises. There are secrets waiting in the dark, for curious minds and powerful eyes. The greatest mysteries are still out there. We're left with more questions than answers. The little red dots are invitations to wonder. What other secrets does the dawn of time hold? What assumptions will the universe shatter next? Webb's mission has only begun. Its discoveries will shape decades to come. Every new image, every spectrum could reveal another cosmic surprise. Webb will probe exoplanets, watch stars and planets form, and look back to the edge of time. We are explorers, driven by curiosity and the urge to push back the darkness. The Webb telescope is the pinnacle of that spirit a tool to see the invisible and touch the distant past. The universe speaks in ancient light and we are finally learning to listen. Next time you look at the night sky, remember, those faint red smudges are messages from the dawn of time. We live in an age of cosmic revelation. The universe is far from a closed book. The most exciting chapters are yet to come. What will Webb uncover next we don't know and that is the most wonderful thing of all.